Around an hour before the King's procession passes by, a Sky News crew captures the moment Kush Naker is arrested, one of 20 climate activists on the Mall, whose apparent plan was to reveal their T-shirts and display a banner. But he says they didn't even do that before he was detained. So here you can see I had my hoodie fully zipped up, uh, so the Just Stop Oil T-shirt wasn't even visible. I hadn't taken the banner either out of my pocket. He says officers told him he was under arrest for breach of the peace. An NHS doctor, he was held for more than 14 hours before being released under investigation. They later told me that they had intelligence, that there was an intention to commit criminal offences. I don't know where such intelligence came from because they did not present that. As far as I can tell, there were no grounds for the arrest. Um, and the only evidence that they had was the fact that I was wearing a T-shirt saying just stop oil, which they only could actually see once they had already decided to arrest me. Supporters of the anti-monarchy group Republic were among the dozens who were arrested. Its head, Graham Smith, says he was held for nearly 16 hours. But the culture secretary denied police went too far. What they have to do is balance the right of people's, uh, the right to protest, which is important in a democracy, uh, at the same time as the right of all those other people to enjoy what was a fabulous day. And, and I, I don't know the, the instances, the particular instances, but I think uh, overall they managed to get that balance right. The police have also defended their actions, which included using facial recognition cameras. They claim they'd received information that some were determined to disrupt. Demonstrators were warned by police that any disruption here along the procession route wouldn't be tolerated. But campaigners insist their protests were peaceful. And to not even be given the chance to express any dissent, they say represents a slide into sinister territory. At issue, controversial new powers that allow police to crack down on protests if it's deemed they'll impede people's day-to-day -day lives. The new legislation introduces a kind of thought crime where you might be arrested um, for doing something lawful to someone else because a judge has in the past identified you as being potentially a bad protester and that's incredibly troubling. And the coronation is unlikely to be the last time we hear this debate. Ivor Bennett, Sky News.